Hey guys, welcome back to the VoIP guys on introducing asterisks. Uh, last time around we um, added our, uh, our peer and so on and so on and we were going to get around to making an inbound call but we sort of ran out of time. So here we are today and we're going to make an inbound call and uh, Matthias is, but we have to make a few little uh, alterations first to make sure everything works. Um, Matthias, pick us up where we left off last time around. Hmm, okay. So we created the, the peer already, as, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, and um, we did not try an inbound call. No. Um, we will do now, but uh, first thing we have to do is we created the peer, yep. but we did not create an inbound rule in our dive plan. No, uh, so that well, might be a good idea to do yes. so. So we do this. Okay, as you away. can see here, um, we have the context provider. And we have to create the context provider in the extensions conf. So we don't care about which of our number is called. So mm -hmm. x dot means every number. Yeah. This is something we talked about it uh, in one of our earlier tutorials. Mm -hmm. So, phones, 100. That means every call uh, which is made goes to 100 and 100 is my phone. Normally you would not do this in most cases. Um, you would do something like, if, if you have something like this, all calls go to one number, then the number, the extension would be an extension of a queue and then mm -hmm. you do the call distribution yep. or an IVR menu yeah. where you can choose something. Or you have more than one number, and say one, number one is a James number, mm -hmm. number two is Matthias's number. Yeah. So you would distribute it like this. Um, but in our case, it's easy because you say every number to Matthias, and then you can read out of the logs yep. what is the format, which number is provided, and maybe mm -hmm. you can fine tune your configuration. Yeah. Okay. So that's enough for here. No typos in there, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, <laughs> the amount of times we've had to redo tutorials because of a missing S or something like that. Missing something. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully we are ready now. And we say zip reload and we say dial plan reload. You're learning. Yes. <laughs> and we say um, zip set debug peer provider. Now we have the peer configured, so we have the peer now, so mm -hmm. we can enable the debug. Um, here we can see some um, some. Does this uh, mean pings. I'm going to make a call? No, just a moment. Um, okay. This is uh, because um, the NAT, it tries to open uh, to, uh, the, the NAT won't close. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are some packets to ensure that. Yeah. So please give us a, a call and I'm sure it will not work, but you never know. that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. You get the call and it just ends automatically. Yeah. Boop means does not work. It's a very sad sound. Mm -hmm. But tell us what, what went wrong. Um, we got an invitation, you can see here, uh -huh. um, from our provider IP address, that port, to our local IP address, that port, and this number. This is our number and we get the invite for it. Mm -hmm. um, then it says unauthorized. But why? We configured the peer, everything seems to be okay, and now it says unauthorized. Um, you have to understand how asterisk checks if a peer is authorized or not. So I can say zip show peers again. And what you can see here, this is the provider peer. It has this IP address. It's behind an NAT. Um, it's reachable like, uh, like this. But um, provider means that it expects an invite for provider uh -huh. and not for the, for, uh, the number. Um, uh. And then it says this does not fit. So the number is invited. Mm -hmm. It compares it to provider, does not match. Of course, yeah. And then it just fails. So one idea could be to rename provider, mm -hmm. so the name of your peer, to the IP address. 
uh, not the telephone number. To the telephone number, uh -huh. sorry. Yeah. Um, then it would fit. But um, let's say you have more than one telephone number because you have a bunch of numbers. That would become a lot of work. Yes, or you don't know what to do. Create a, pe a peer for each number. Um, you could, but I don't think it's no. a good idea. No. So what you can do, you can force asterisk to just don't care about the username. Uh -huh. Then it just checks the host and the port, but it just does not care about That's the a nifty invited. little trick. Yes, the invited uh, username. Take it away. How can you do this? <coughs> you go to the zip conf. Then you can add a new line, which is insecure. This is not a good name, but okay. Insecure is in white. So don't care about the name in the invite. Okay. Zip reload. Now we give it a try again. Maybe. Let's see. Third time's a charm. Yes. Well, hey. So I just finally got my uh, call going. <laughs> yes. Just uh, switch back to the screen, please. Mm -hmm. um, you can see we got the call. This is um, the calling number. And it works now. And you can see the communication here. Uh, so everything is fine for our inbound call. You should always check the audio. So we did not check the audio because it's a German mobile to, to an a US landline. Could be just a little bit too expensive. Maybe. Not too, ex too expensive for this tutorial. <laughs> 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 but I wanted to say not that we're cheapskates or anything, mm -hmm, but yes. why uh, spend money when you don't need to? Yeah, yeah. that's uh, true. <laughs> uh, so um, in real life, please always check the audio we told you already yeah. because um, RTP can go another way than the signaling mm -hmm. and yeah. then you have one way audio issues like this so please check the audio that's it for the inbound call and that's how you can figure out the parameters you need uh -huh. um, the more complicated thing is the outbound call maybe are so we going to get onto that next time around yes <laughs> oh this could be fun yes right then. so there you have it uh, next time around we'll be taking a look at um, configuring our system for outbound calls. Um, yeah, until next time, thanks very much for watching. Thank you, bye. Goodbye.